Hello guys, uh, this is your TA Leo and uh, today I'm gonna show you how to build the Northwind Cube from scratch um, in case you didn't follow up from the previous labs All right. so first thing first you have to log into uh, to your uh, remote server and then basically you do Microsoft this, um, you go to just search for tools and then you're going to have a SQL Server data tools open that all right so after you open it I'm just gonna close it after you open it you just do file new project um, and then another service multi multimodal whatever that is okay Northwind we're going to name it Northwind um, tutorial uh, because later on we're going to build it um, to have the KPI that we talked about. All right, click OK. So now we have our data sources, data source views. And just um, click on that. Um, it's in connection with MSA SQL.Northwing. Um, if you don't have it, again, you can just new. And then uh, server name is connection MSIA SQL. And then the database name is going to be Northwing. Okay, just click um, OK. And then this is going to be the database that we're using for demonstration purposes. For your actual project, you're going to use the AdventureWorks. Okay, so click Next. Use the um, username and password. Uh, I think mine is this. And then I pre copied my uh, password. All right. And then the data source name is, you don't need to change it. Okay, so now after we have built our data source, we have we need to build the data source we use from the Northwind data source. Okay, and then from here, we're going to see all the tables. Um, because, okay, uh, make sure time one is in here. Okay, and then um, click next. Finish. Now you're going to see this schema over here. But again, uh, the time one and system diagrams are dangling. Therefore, you can just delete it. All right. Um, so now what you have to do is to link um, the order date, required date, and ship date into your time one table. So I'm going to do right now new relationship from orders order date to time one PK date, right? Click OK, this is the first thing. This thing is required date, therefore we're going to do it here. Um, PK date, All right? And the third thing is the ship date. You just right click over here, and then do the same thing, so time one PK date. All right, click OK, and now you can see that all the tables have been linked. And now if you do right click on here and then arrange tables, you're going to see time one actually linked to orders um, with three arrows pointing from orders to time one. So those three arrows are just order date, required date, and ship date. So now that we have our data source, uh, we will have to create dimensions. And I think the dimensions we have to talk about are um, product. Um, uh, what are the three? Product. Um, customers, and uh, employees, right? Okay, let's try that. Um, products first, next, next. Select the, all the related tables, and then now you have product ID, product name, enterprise, uh, unit price, and then category name, whatever. So you know, just linking them together. Um, quantity per unit. Um, well, it doesn't really matter what you choose here, um, but I'm gonna go with quantity per unit, units in stock, units on order. Um, that might be useful, city, region, postal code, country, all right? Next, and then 
finish. This is your products dimension. Okay. And then um, now we're going to create another dimension. We call it uh, the let's see, customers. Okay, next. And then you're going to see customer ID, company name, address, city, region, postal country, phone, maybe. All right, it doesn't really matter what you choose here, so just, okay. And now we need another dimension, we call it time. So time one, next. We need a date name, year, year name, month, month name, and then that's it. And then I'm gonna name it time instead of time one, okay? And then just for the heck of hierarchy, um, I don't really want to create anything here. So we have product, customers, time. What else do we want? You can create a lot more, but for this demonstration, I am going to, um, let me see, is there anything else I want to? Suppliers, customers, Suppliers, customer, customer demo, customer demographics, customers, employees. Uh, I'm gonna stop here just because I want it to be simple and easy to understand, right? So for the time, you're going to uh, drag and drop for the hierarchies from um, one year to month to date, right? Something like this, and save it. Uh, let's go to customers. And this one, you probably want to have an hierarchy for for uh, region. So country, city, address. All right, something like this. And then for products, uh, we will want a. Category, sorry, category ID, and then product ID, all right? So I'm choosing those two primarily because product ID is the primary key. Of course, you can choose something else like country, city, um, and then uh, country, city, postal code is uh, between those two, right? Uh, I mean, might be wrong, but it's fine, you know? It didn't complain. It says attribute relationships, something, something may reduce query performance. Um, for our demonstration, we don't really care about that. Okay, so now after we have created uh, all the dimensions, we might want to process it. So now first we need to deploy our cube. And uh, I'm expecting it to have errors. Uh, no, I don't want to continue because as the document said, you're going to have errors. So the first error you have to fix is um, the project cannot be deployed to the local server. Um, we don't want it to be deployed to the local server. Instead, we want it to be deployed onto our local host. So what I did was um, right click on your tutorial project properties and then in deployment tag, um, you use connection MSIA SQL over here, and now this uh, error will be solved. So what if I press process here? You're going to see another error um, complaining that 1200 is not a valid value. Therefore, we will go into um, the actual folder, see uh, where is, uh, okay, documents is here, and then go into Visual Studio 2015 um, projects. And then this one is called North Swing Tutorial. Okay, getting to the tutorial. And then you're going to want to find the another service database. Uh, right click on it, add it with Notepad++ or whatever, uh, whatever text editor you have. Change this one to 1100. Okay, save it, uh, close it, and go back here. It's going to say um, there is a changing files, yes to all. All right, and now you can try again. Uh, let me do that again. Deploy should be working, okay? And then run it. 
And it seems like everything is succeeded. So if you follow all of the steps correctly, you should be able to process um, all of the all the dimensions right here. Okay. So in here, time dimension process it. Okay, so now we have all the three dimensions processed. We will want to build our cube. So right click on cubes and select new cube. Then use existing tables. We want two tables, order details and orders. Okay, next. And we want all of the measures. All right, and then select existing dimensions, product, customer, and time. All right, next. Uh, this one says select new dimensions. Uh, uh, maybe not. Not those three. Okay, so we click next. Then the cube name is supposed to be cells. All right. Um, sometimes I click too fast, and uh, sometimes I may speak very fast. So if so, this is the thing about making a video out of it. So you guys can pause and follow along. Um, I apologize. Sometimes I go really quickly in lab because I think. You should be able to follow it, but um, maybe I'm just too, you know, too, too clicky. I just want to click on things that uh, will make it work. All right, so now you have your cells cube. Notice that on the left-hand side, you have all the dimensions, but you don't have a time dimension. You have order date, require date, and ship date. This is normal. This is normal. Okay, save it, process the cube. All right. And now, um, hopefully, you're going to see your cube. All right, great. Congratulations. You have your cube. OK, so this is basically how you would uh, want the cube of North Wing to look like. Um, uh, this video is made primarily for those of you who didn't follow along. And uh, we, will, uh, we will continue on the next one for edit measurements and uh, KPI. All right, thank you.